We heard today mm. from a range of social service organisations and the point that was made very strongly to us that here's the government putting money into the pockets of people that have more money than on moderate incomes and wealthy incomes and yet taking money off the most vulnerable members of our community. $6 into the pockets of the more moderate and well off and between $4.40 and $7 out of the pockets of the most vulnerable members of our community. And the question that Catholic Social Services asked the committee is how could you support the package of this legislation when you know that it's hurting and hitting the most vulnerable members of our community? Not only do they want to cut New Start, and it is a cut, and those that who would, if this goes through, be on New Start into the future, would be worse off than in the if the energy supplement never existed because of the way the government dealt with the indexation at the time. We also heard about the devastating impacts that cutting DSP to people that are in psychiatric confinement at the moment mm -hmm. that have not been found guilty of a crime will what effects it will have on them if DSP is taken away. We had leading experts in mental health and in Aboriginal justice talk to us about how, the mo again, the most vulnerable members of our community will be affected. If that cut, it's only $30 million, but it's a huge impact for those that it will affect. And they also made the really strong point that it's extremely short-sighted because if they cut this money, the long-term costs to hospitalisation, to homelessness and other government services will be far above the little bit of money, the $30 million that is saved from that. This hearing showed once again that the government and the ALP, if they do in fact support these cuts, that they are prepared to cut, take the money off the most vulnerable members of our community yet again. The, the government at this, at this point has a bad history here and as, as Richard said, 2014 started it and we've seen no change with the change of Prime Minister. Rachel Seward of the Greens there. And before uh, Rachel Seward, we heard from the Greens leader, Richard Di Natale, speaking uh, at Parliament House about legislation connected to Medicare, New Start and to climate change.